Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. It's it's the Christmas Eve Eve today, and I was going to hit hit it on the head. It's kind of late today. I wanted to go to bed, you know, do something, watch YouTube, the usual things. But I've got these LED lights in our hallway. There's four of them in one of those, you know, cluster fitting things, and. I turned on the switch and they all failed simultaneously. They all blew and I thought that's weird. I thought it might be a fuse or something so I swapped the bulb in with a normal incandescent and it's fine. So I was like what could cause all four to go at the same time? So that's weird like some sort of mysterious mysterious supernatural force at work there. But I thought why don't we just have a quick look inside though in case we can see if there's anything obvious, any obvious blowedness going on in there. So these have been in there for oh, a few years, they've been up there a few years. And there was one, maybe one hint, because one of the lights was flickering ever so dimly as if only one of its LEDs was working or the PCB is dead or something like that. But I'm no big Clive, so I won't be able to figure it out I'm sure. Look at that, though. that's cool. Those are kind of cool things, like little lenses, little eyeball lenses. Might keep those, give those to the kids to play with. See though, they've all got the same sort of looking crustinesses. And they've all got the same sort of LED things going on. Um, I don't know how many volts those LEDs will be. So I've got my bench power supply here. What's it set to currently? 12 volts, bit bit heavy. Let's knock it down to, I don't know, five volts, four volts, something like that. Where, where can we hook onto this? So the LEDs are pretty well, let's, let's hold them down with something. Ah, this vice grips is just too small for its own good. Oh, that's okay there, that worked. Let's have a look. I can just touch this on the edges. So I can make my own little probes here. No. No idea which is the anode and which is the cathode. I'm not getting anything. I'm just looking at the meter while I'm doing this just to see there's no current at all. Yeah, okay. I would have expected the LED to do something. Let's put it that way. I would have expected the LED to do something. Again, not sure if that's indicative of it being blown, but. I'll zoom in as much as I can just to show you. They do, you know, some of them look really dark. Like that looks dark, that looks dark, that looks dark. This is another one here. These all look dark apart from that one. So perhaps they have succumbed to some sort of environmental or electrical stress on the actual LEDs themselves. Without sort of plugging them into. To, oh no, I've just mullered one totally. You mullered it. <laughs> Yeah, without building an actual rig though to hold this, I'm not really too happy about trying to shove mains in. This is going to be my sacrificial one really, just to see how to open it up. Okay, I've got four of them, plenty to play with on there. And then they're sort of held in as per usual to this end, which you can normally just break off like that. That was a bit of a one. So not much there, is there really? Just a, a capacitor. In fact, two two capacitors. And it looks like something's in there. Could there be uh, a resistor in here? Yes, there is. A resistor. The beeps, the beeps of doom. And for those of you playing along at home, it's I'm seeing red, I'm seeing purple, I'm seeing yellow, or actually I'm seeing yellow, purple, red, and silver. Yellow, purple, red, and silver. So that's the power reduction there, the voltage reduction, and then I'm guessing these are kind of stabilizing it, maybe trying to rectify it. This bit here, this component is an MB10F. An MB10F, could that be a rectifier? It's got a plus and minus on it, interesting could be right this doesn't have to do anything this circuit other than turn the LEDs on and then there's a bunch of resistors they are 101 101 104 105 and then you've got your LEDs here and they look to be 
Let's have a look, see. Nor that crusty one. There's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten LEDs and they're all in series. Crikey, look at that though, they're just was that the one that I damaged? Hang on, that seemed too easy. Nah, that's it. I thought that was a bit sort of too easy to come off, like it would have been damaged. So I'm going to do. I'm going to take one here, which doesn't look as blackened as the others, and I'm going to just sort of scarify the material there. Let's see again with our probes of doom, and I'm going to. Yep, they've definitely got power going to them. Absolutely nothing on that either way. Just grab it. Sometimes when you do this, you know, you're not sure if you've mechanically made good contact or not, so let's eliminate that. Oh, wonder. Good old clamp on that capacitor there. Oh, I've lost the end of my probe. Get out. Absolutely nothing. No current on the meter being drawn. Not seeing anything at all. Just for shit, shits and giggles, I'm going to put it right up to 12 volts. Let's see if we blast it with a bit more voltage if anything comes through. Mm, nope. The other way around. Nope. It's as if it does not exist. So, yeah, whatever's gone wrong, it must have gone wrong in a big way and just taken out all of these. So, that's just super strange. Super strange. I'm guessing it could be uh, the force or some sort of, you know, electrical spike. I'm mean, pretty sure there was no lightning or something when I was twitching that. I just turned it on and they went bleh, bleh. They didn't like it. So there. That's uh, pretty much um, the most useless video you could watch today. We took something apart, but we didn't learn anything at all. And I didn't even know what the components are. So if you do know what an MB10F is... Let me know. I think that's a bridge rectifier, but I could be wrong. There you go. As ever, thanks for watching.